All right, guys, we're, we're going to be working on the Tebron a little bit today, maybe tomorrow. Um, still got to put the turbo back on, uh, put, do the exhaust. I'm probably going to cut some of the wire off for the Y band to make it shorter. Oh, yeah. Uh, I got the, I need to do my AEM uh, boost solenoid. So these are the wire that comes with Boom Sling. I emailed them because I, I thought there was just a hose, but these two. And they're long enough, so I'm happy about that. I got route that nice and easy. Uh, got the A, uh, got the AN fittings. I need to look for my. Uh, okay, I got a nine degree bend. Depends what I need. Um, got the two straights, but I'm pretty sure I just need one straight or a 45 degree bend. Um, got the old two sensors. Got to hook them up brand new. And uh, let's start uh, jacking this thing up and see what's underneath and probably have to redo my exhaust because I'll show you guys. Um, <sighs> this one's sticking out more than that one. If I had to go see it, it's sticking out a little bit more versus here. So I'm going to have to redo that part. Let's jack it up right now. All right. Uh, I need to redo this part right here. Probably gonna cut it around this area. And then probably cut it here, twist it up. And that's pretty much it for the exhaust too. Um, that I need to fix. Now let's look at the oil drain should go to right here and uh, let's go measure what I need and I'll uh, see I'm gonna check the 90 how the 90 looks it's gonna be hard for me to do two things at once so I'm just gonna leave you guys down for a second uh, there's the AM fitting. I, I'm using the 90 degree. I didn't put all the way in, just a couple threads. Then I bring it up there. Now let's go grab the turbo and uh, see how she's gonna fit with the downpipe, all that fun stuff. So basically, I use a um, like a 45 degree right here. I'm gonna test fit it right now. Uh, I cut some of it off. I just use electrical tape and use uh, pliers. Hopefully everything goes good. If not, I'll just leave this side good. Then uh, I chop the other side a little bit. And, uh, let's do this. Uh, everything is a little loose right now, but now the, there's the oil train line going through there. The over here, nice. There's no kinks on it. Uh, let's see and there she is all right now I'm gonna mock it up uh, turn, turn it down and uh, let's keep moving forward and start putting the down pipe bolted on the wastegate there's my wastegate over there and um hopefully everything goes good right now so uh, so yeah so doesn't look that bad. Give you guys a better angle. Let's see. There's how she looks. And uh let's go and do it. Alright guys, uh the vibrant uh, adapter is better than the CX racing, so I'm not gonna be using that. Throw that on, on the side. Uh the C the vibrant ones don't work, these bolts. Uh, I already put my towel wastegate, but it's it's loose, so I can put the gasket on right here. Um, then mock it up, and hopefully everything goes a okay. After that, let's see what else I need to do. I already installed the feed line, uh, the total blanket, uh, the downpipe. Um, I rerouted the return line this way, so it doesn't touch that much heat. Then I'm gonna put it on that, all right. 
Uh, right now, I did a T right here. I could have done right here uh, from the bottom of the wastegate to the top. So basically, you need to uh, go here to your boost controller. This hose go all the way to the top. Then the top goes to the bottom. The bottom goes all the way back to the T before uh, the boost controller. That's how pretty much it, how she looks. Now, um, I'm gonna take these out, Let's see how long they are. Yeah, I forgot to show you this earlier. Um, when you get the boom slang, that's boost control. Like I said in, uh, earlier, I thought this was connected to the wastegate, but you got these two wires. Uh, these are pretty long. I'm gonna grab my, uh, I don't know if I should just connect them or just fucking uh, make them. Uh, permanent i think i'm just gonna do it permanent if i had to i can just disconnect the hose right here and move it to the side this is how she looks there's these right here it's, it seems uh not gonna rip oh uh, now i'm gonna do the old the white band right now i cut it there's the excess i don't need all that i'm gonna try and make it shorter basically the same thing like uh, over here I'm gonna clean that up a little bit. I put the O2 right here onto the little hole on the transmission mount. I'm trying to clean up everything up here. And let's see if the white band works. Alright, it's working right. I need to go to, uh, to the parts store and get a hose for this so I can connect my boost uh, my vacuum and boost still um, see still I need to tee it off uh, yeah so it's over here I need to get a longer one and uh, let's go get the parts right now after that put the headlight back in Play with the exhaust. It's the, the day still a little uh, start early, so just do this. It. All right, there's the oil return line. Everything's plugged in. I'm gonna add oil right now and prime the turbo. Let's see if everything goes wrong or not. All right, I disconnect the fuel pump relay. Let's see if she cranks. All right, I'm gonna plug that battery back on, the battery charger. I don't see anything leaking. Nothing leaking. Oh, right here. Let's see, got the light. All right, something. It's leaking around here somewhere. I don't see where it is actually coming from. It can be uh, the crank seal, probably. I mean, the crank sensor. Well, I'm not 100% sure. I thought the AM fitting probably be leaking, but it's not. Uh, you know, it's, I need to check that now. Alright, that's the oil I dropped when I uh, added the fluid. So, we're going to go over here. I'm going to be cutting right here because that's straight. And then, after that, then start going backwards to the rear. And figure out how I can make it more flush. No, 
because this thing's a little too goddamn low. Looks kind of ugly and stupid. So first things first, cut this right here, and then put everything back on, and then see I can cock it and make it my life easier. And after that, um, right now, I got my battery tender up there, getting it tenderized the battery. Hopefully, I can start playing with the t uh, ECU a little bit. Uh, first things first, I'm gonna cut right here first. I text one here and one back there. It looks better than all the way down. Now I just try to position it where I want it to be and figure out the next step is to uh, probably cut this in half and see where she's at. All right, that's how she looks right now. Better than before. It's not hanging too crazy than before. Now, I just need to do one more big weld in this one and cause a day. I, cut, I made it shorter. I just made another pipe cut, boom. And uh, hopefully that does not scrape at all. It's just a little low, but not how it was. And uh, let's keep moving forward. All right, the exhaust is done. I'll weld it up. Some ugly as well. Just, uh, I'll do this later. It's no big deal. If people make fun of me, make fun of me. So, um, no, she's not lowered. I'm gonna see if I can play with the ECU right now. All right, guys. That's how the exhaust looks. It's not hanging as crazy. So, talk to you guys later. Have a nice night, day. Where you guys are from. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. I mean, drive safe and stay dirty.